Hey guys, you're a business owner just like me. I'm a wedding photographer in New Jersey and I've created one of a kind budget template spreadsheet for small business owners, you know, especially people that are just starting out and need to be able to figure out how to track their expenses and split income into different savings and checkings accounts and paying the right credit card with the right banking, checking, savings accounts. So a lot of the times I have credit cards for one for business, one for personal, and I need to be able to figure out which account needs to pay it because I accidentally paid a business expense on a personal credit card or vice versa. Okay, so if you're looking to purchase this template, you can purchase it on Etsy, and but you can follow along here to see how it works. We're gonna do March 2023 accounting, and I'll show you examples of how to use this template and how it could be very beneficial for you as you track all your accounting records every single month. Uh, now, when you get the template, it is going to be pretty blank except for a few things. So I'm going to go over what areas you need to fill in to be very customizable to your business. You're not a photographer probably, maybe you are, and this could be helpful for you if you are the same as me, or if you're not, don't worry, I got you covered regardless. So let's get started. So you'll get this monthly budget spreadsheet and this walks you through every single step here and little notes here and there. If you wanna watch the original YouTube video, you can watch it right now on YouTube and follow along as well. But this is more of an updated version of this template for March and you can go ahead and drag this to the end of the tabs if you wish to not have it at the front, no problem, but don't delete it. And when you do download the template, you're going to want to go to file, make a copy to create a whole new one for the new month. Now, this is for March. You may be watching this in August. I have no idea, but you can go to your monthly stickers tab and click whatever month you're on by control copy and then pasting it over to your monthly calculations and control V to paste the new uh, sticker. You don't have to use these stickers if you don't want to. They're just there if you'd like. Uh, you also have a bill calendar, so you'll also want to update that sticker as well with Control V. First things first, when you start your uh, spreadsheet, I recommend going to your budgeting every single month if you know what the budget is here. If you don't know yet, that's fine. This is what this accounting spreadsheet will help you. If you keep this all zero, you'll find out at the end of the month how many, how much you spent on expenses and what you can expect every single month to be spending. And for the following month, you'll use those amounts here for your budget. You can set little goals here for your savings accounts and your accounts receivables, whatever you feel like works for you. You will see these red asterisks, or if you hover over certain spots, it'll say it auto calculates. That means do not fill it in anything in those cells because it auto calculates based on what you inputted in different cells. You will move over to your category list. I'm just going to click and drag that to the top so you kind of understand the order. Now this has been filled in for me personally. It works for me, but for you, it may be different. However, this expenses category column, I have it already completed for you. So essentially has most of the expenses every business has and then little notes next to it based on what that would be considered as that expense um, without thinking too much, you know? Over in projects, this is different for everybody, but these are mine. And what I need to do is add more projects because in March I've sold more packages, more projects, so I need to input that information in and where I get that is from my CRM, which is my client relations management program, but you can get it from your invoicing. All right, so savings, all right? You as a business owner should have multiple savings and checkings accounts, okay? Multiple, not just one, because that's how you can risk getting into debt or not having enough money to pay taxes every single year. So if you at minimum have an operating account, which is actually checking, but I named it savings. You can just name this however you want. But um, my checking operating expenses account, that pays all the bills, you know, all that kind of stuff every single month. My taxes account, every time I get money in from a project income, we're going to go over this shortly, percentage of that goes into my tax savings accounts and I cannot touch it ever. Okay. That money 
is towards taxes every single year. But at minimum, it should be taxes and then your operating expenses. And then you can create multiple savings accounts within your bank, online banking. And I like having these savings accounts for me, for my business. You can do whatever you want. Next field or next column we have is accounts receivable. And this is money that comes in in different forms to you. Maybe it's Zelle, maybe it's cash, maybe it's cash app, maybe it's a check from your client. Maybe it's, uh, you know, I use HoneyBook as my CRM, so maybe someone paid an invoice through HoneyBook. Maybe I got YouTube ad revenue or Amazon affiliate marketing payment, things like that. So you'll wanna create all of these and you can fill these in as you go because maybe you didn't realize that, oh wait, I got money through Venmo and didn't realize that. So you'll enter that as a category. All right, next is accounts payable. This is how you pay your bills, different accounts that you pay your bills with, all right? Or maybe there are other savings accounts, I don't know, but hey, this is what you put it in. This actually I need to update, it should be equipment. education and then I know I made a spelling error yeah spelling error here update that spell it correctly now that you've completed all of this you want to move on to your income log and we will find what comes in money wise through maybe your CRM or any invoicing that you do and you'll input this in so I'm going to just do an example for you guys I'm not going to pull up my actual personal business banking information for you but let's just pretend on the first of march project we're just going to pick one of these projects because remember this drop tab is because of this uh this categories list all right whatever you inputted here created a drop tab here in a project name it's so cool right i'm going to pretend stephanie and nick uh from for july made a payment and they paid via Cash App for the amount of one thousand uh, dollars. Let's just say, oh no, they I haven't split any money into a savings account, so make sure that's unchecked. Now this should auto fill in your savings log, so this saves you so much time. You go to your savings log, wow, it auto filled for you the thousand dollars. Now this is where you need to create your different percentages, your different savings accounts, right? Um, these are mine. You can you can see this and copy, right? So, for example, a thousand dollars came in. I know twenty two percent of any funds that come in needs to go into my tax savings account. So I will go personally into my personal business checking account, which is operating expenses. Uh, uncheck that operating expenses, and send money to my or transfer money to my taxes account for this amount see this red this redness is because i made a spelling error and fixed it so i have to go back here and update that and i can just drag and fix all those to be correct because it that just means that it, it's not in your category list and that you need to update it by just clicking and clicking on the correct category right okay so basically you're going to have to create these percentages on whatever works for you. These are mine. You can copy mine if it works for you, all right? But this helps you, all right? You, you need this so you know how much money goes into every savings account that you have, all right? So pretend $1,000 from income, right? Auto fills into savings, right? It auto filled in here. Now 22% of that needs to go into my tax savings account. 5% of the $1,000 needs to go into my ads and marketing, and that's 50. Same thing with equipment and education. Um, health is 3%. And then my operating expenses, all right, is 65%. That's my checking account that pays all the bills. So that basically $650 stays in that account. And then I, whatever the remaining balance, which is $350, gets separated into these other accounts. And once I personally, or once I manually go into my business banking, I will go ahead and make those transfers. And once I complete all those transfers, check. And then I'll go into my income log, double check that I did that and said, yes, I did it. All right, so that's an example. Now let's use expenses log. Say I bought camera gear, all right? And I bought it on the second, just because 
I need new camera gear, and being a wedding photographer, we use Adorama, or b &H, for example, or even Amazon. But we're going to use Adorama as an example, say a camera. Um, this is definitely going to be equipment. Remember, whatever we use in our category list, this expenses tab on your expense log, you see it all here. Since this is an equipment gear for business to operate, camera, monitor, computer, all that kind of stuff, go ahead and click that. And there's not really a project because it's just general business expense, right? I'm going to say this camera was $3,000. I paid for this camera using my Marriott credit card, which is technically my business credit card. And then uh, which account needs to actually pay for this is actually my equipment savings account. All right. And that's my equipment and education savings account. So tap that. I did not pay this bill yet, right? I have to go to my Marriott credit card uh, billing, that website. And then I need to transfer funds from my savings account that's meant intentionally for equipment to transfer into my Marriott credit card payment. All right. Once that's done, I check yes. Now, if you wanted to keep going with this list, you don't have, you don't feel like paying it right away until everything's completed. Just write a note here, just saying that. Just say O's, and then if you type the word O's, it will highlight red. If you don't type the word O's, it won't highlight this red magenta e mauve color, whatever you want to call it. Next tab, bill calendar. Now, it's different for everybody. This is kind of self-explanatory. Annual bills, the date and the month that usually gets taken out, and the, you know, all that information. And this is every month that you can expect. Like, you know, subscriptions, software fees, things like that. Every month you can expect. So you can just input that in as you go. When you're completing this expenses and you're like, oh, I know that's going to come again every single month. You'll just input it here and track it all. Okay, so equipment, because I bought that camera, I would complete that information all here in these fields. Um, you want to keep this because it's basically your inventory for your business that you want to send to your accountant every year. And you know what? It doesn't hurt. I would never delete this page uh, until like the end of the year and add everything up to see how much you have in equipment and inventory. Um, so that's up to you what you want to do with that, but I would not delete this page every month. I would keep adding to this. Now, ignore these tabs, the sales tax tabs, because that's different for everybody. I added these sheets by simply clicking this little plus but button. I add a sheet and then I right click to rename it, but I'm going to delete it for this example because we're not creating any sheets. Um, because I'm in New Jersey, I need to sell, send my sales tax reports. Um, and I get these reports from my CRM, my print uh, sales, um, and my Etsy sales. Like wherever you sell product and you, cal uh, you collect sales tax, you will need these reports to send to your accountant. I'm in New Jersey, like I said, so I have to send these monthly. But you may be different in your state or country you're in. All right, so mileage tracker, do not delete this. You want to add to it just like you do for equipment or inventory. Uh, your mileage tracker is what you use your car for business purposes and track that every single month, miles, tolls, all that kind of stuff. All right, self-explanatory there too. And we've, we've already went through this tab, so basically we walk through everything. You guys, if you have any questions on how to use this template, please don't hesitate to reach out over Etsy, Messenger, uh, here on YouTube, uh, leaving a comment below, or you can go ahead and direct message me on Instagram as well and just send me a DM if you have any questions. I am here for you. I'm wishing you guys all the best of luck. I know accounting is not every creative especially his favorite thing to do. Things. But bookkeeping is super important guys. Saving is super important and tracking your funds so you don't go into debt is so so important to keep a business staying afloat and I wish you guys all the best and uh, have a good one. Bye!